Hello everybody, my name is Plixels, and if you ever watched any of my streams, you'll know that one of the things I like to say is I like to do 3d6 mental damage to anyone who watches me. And if you watched any of the played up streams, you'll definitely agree with that. Sorry to the 30 people that raided me, but I've been watching a lot of sim stuff lately. That's a big red flag as it is, but I've been watching some sim stuff lately, like James Turner and Ryan Plays the Sims, and they got me thinking. Sims challenges are fun, but there's only like three challenges anyone ever does. Get rich quick. How many kids can I watch before I go crazy? And building challenges. So I decided I was going to do something horrible. I was going to make my own challenge. May I present to you... <laughs> the incest challenge. <laughs> Alright, now that my viewership has dropped down to 10%, I'm not joking. Except, I kind of am because Sims incest isn't direct incest. It's not fun British royalty incest. It's second cousins, but still. My main goals for this challenge are simple. How fast and how bad can I make a family tree? Can I make it a perfect circle? Can I just make it so that everyone goes back to like two people? How bad can I make this? And my first run went horrible. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Use my creator code in the Fortnite item shop and drop a subscribe. Let's get into this. In order to play Sims, of course, you need Sims. And my four test subjects are John, Katrina, Abby, and Donna. Look at how happy they are, not knowing what's about to unfold. Like every good run, we start in Willow Creek and the Creek Cabana, where I'm instantly bombarded by Emily, a so-called helper who just takes up my screen and is very annoying. Ah, uh, look at our kingdom. Now, it's time to get to it. Let's start making some not-so-happy babies. And of course, this is where things very quickly go wrong. Nope, you're not jealous. <laughs> That's right, jealousy. Instantly, Donna saw John and Katrina go to their marital bed to do marital stuff, which I thought that she'd be fine with. Wait, what? I said you didn't. <laughs> what? With the Love Struck update, Sims are now able to enter polyamorous relationships without any consequences, but both Abby and Donna didn't seem to get the message. Katrina seems perfectly fine, though. <gasps> After this, I downloaded the MCCC mod and also used some cheats to try to set their relationships back to normal, including going over to create a sim and fixing the setting that I messed up. First, of course, I tried MCC setting the active romance, which didn't do what I hoped it did. Instead, it just made John fall in love with everyone who's rendered in the world currently, which in its own sense is really funny. Honestly, it's only gonna, it's only how it's gonna be. Then it's back to create a sim, where I click the 8 buttons on the 2 sims that weren't happy to try to make them happy and fix this fallen relationship. Okay, we should be good now. Spoilers, we weren't. There's Abby. Abby. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I was desperately using all my knowledge of sims cheats and the mods to see what I could do to fix it, but I was desperate and didn't notice I was only affecting John. Oh wait, no, I did it for him. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the mirror? By now, I knew the run was already trash, so I was just trying to do whatever I could to make a funny video out of it, including killing every sim that wasn't part of the family so they don't fall in love again. It's just kill the rabbit, sure. But, okay. It took me 17 seconds to realize I was still affecting John. Wait, nope! Oh, jeez. Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. Make happy. By all technicality, that's the happiest dead sim you've ever seen. Sorry for how short the video is, I didn't mean for it to be this short, but as you can see, nothing went right. What you saw was the most entertaining part, it was mostly just a lot of me fiddling around with the settings and whatnot. And you're probably asking, why didn't I just record another run? It's simple. I'm lazy. I also want to try doing solo videos instead of having all my friends in the videos. Uh, just because I can. That's why I chose this. It's a single player game, and I'm able to do a horrible challenge such as this. If you want to see more solo content of me, be sure to like this video and share it. That will boost the 
engagement with this video and more people will be cursed with the knowledge of this challenge as well as the existence of me and it'll also let me know that you want to see more content of just me which honestly at first i tried doing a few solo videos i'd never liked them but this was really fun so yeah sorry for the long monologue like and share the video and if you're new around here and you think this challenge is horrible then i think you should subscribe